Hello children. Welcome back in this science class. I hope you all have done your exam very well. Now after a long time we are meeting again. Isn't it? Yes. So let's start a new chapter that is chapter 5 of term 2. As you can see in this picture children are playing. After playing for a long time, what happens? Yes, you become tired and exhausted. So, your mother offers you either milk or some snacks. And once you have it, you again become energetic. So, in this chapter, we are going to study about the food. And therefore, the name of our chapter is food and health we do lot of activities like studying playing outdoor games indoor games learning etc we all need energy to do these activities you know now what is energy yes ability to do work from where do we get this energy yes we get this energy from the food we eat food help us to repair wear and tear of the body it also help us to fight with the various infections and diseases so children a body is just like a machine it works only when it receives a fuel fuel means petrol or diesel no here food fuel is the food we eat good rest and physical activities so let discuss all these one by one so first is fuel that means food we eat we eat varieties of food and the food which we eat consists of different components these components of food are called the nutrients so children what are the nutrients yes special substances present in the food are called the nutrients these nutrients children play a very important role in our body they supply us energy help us grow and protect us from various diseases and the infections so now i hope you understood the functions of nutrients yes what are they they are supplying energy to the body cells to perform work helping in the proper development and the growth of the body keeping the body protected from the infections and diseases this way a uh, nutrients play very important role in our body there are five main nutrients present in the food what are they they are carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals so here we will study in detail about the sources and the functions of each nutrient one by one So let's start with the carbohydrates. When we do activities like reading, running, playing or doing some recreational activities like drawing, painting etc. a body uses large amount of energy. We balance this energy that is used up with the food we eat. So this energy can be gained by eating a food which are rich in carbohydrate that means sources of carbohydrates so what are the sources yes they are rice bread chapati maize potatoes bananas and millets not only this sugar honey sugar cane are also the main source of carbohydrates so children we should include some portion of the carbohydrates in our diet now the requirements of this carbohydrates 
differ from person to person and it also depends on the age of the person for example person such as laborer or sports person who do physically strenuous work need more carbohydrate than the person who is working in the office and you might have seen that the athletes or the players after completing their race they take glucose so why do athletes take glucose drink after completing a race yes because glucose is a simple carbohydrate it is easily absorbed by the body and gives us instant energy what do you mean by instant energy yes immediate energy good example of glucose is the glucose d so to get the energy we should include some of portion of the carbohydrates in our diet now let's move to the next nutrient that is the fats fats provide heat warmth and energy they keep the body warm and they contain twice the amount of energy as compared to the carbohydrates so the sources of the fats are butter cheese ghee and all types of cooking oil so remember one thing children we have to take the fat in very small quantity because extra fat is stored under the skin we need to make sure that we should take right amount of the fat as storage of the fat in excess in the body make us obese so remember that we should include the right amount of the fat in our diet so the carbohydrates and fats are the essential nutrients which provide us heat and energy so these both the nutrients are called the energy giving food now if you fall down you bruise your knees what happens well nothing really happens in few days you will see that your wound is completely healed up so what has helped in healing this completely yes that is the proteins proteins are the very essential nutrients which help in building the body they are also responsible for the growth and repair of the body cells and tissues they also help us to grow now as i told you proteins are the good for the body as they help the body grow build and repair the cells because of this these proteins are called body building food and the foods which are rich in proteins are milk egg pulses cheese fish meat etc growing children and the person who is recovering from the illness need more proteins than the other food so a food should include therefore one source of protein to fulfill our needs now next is the vitamins and the minerals these vitamins and minerals are necessary for the proper functioning of the human body and they are found in the fresh fruits and the vegetables so let's talk first about the vitamins so children what are vitamins vitamins are the nutrients which keep us fit and healthy free of diseases a body cannot produce vitamins so it is important to eat vitamin rich food and as already i told you we get most of the vitamins from fruits vegetables nuts eggs meat and fish now there are two types of vitamins fat soluble vitamins and water soluble vitamins we will discuss both of these one by one so let's discuss first fat soluble vitamins so what are various fat soluble vitamins they are vitamin a vitamin d 
E and K. These are the vitamins which mix up with the body fat and stored until we need them. So let's discuss all the sources and the functions of these vitamins. So first is vitamin A. It is found in carrot, mango, papaya, pumpkin, green vegetables and milk. It is very good for the eyesight. Now the vitamin D. Vitamin D keeps the bones and teeth strong. And it is found in the milk and the milk products, fish and meat. Do you know one thing? A body makes vitamin D in presence of sunlight. So we should sit in a sunlight to take naturally vitamin D. Next is vitamin E. Vitamin E keeps the skin healthy and it is found in green leaf vegetables, nuts, feeds, milk and its product. Now the last fat soluble vitamin is vitamin K. It helps in clotting the blood and it is found in all green leafy vegetables, dairy products and soybean oil. Now next category of vitamin is water soluble vitamins. These vitamins mix with the blood and flow through our body. So there are two water soluble vitamins, vitamin B and vitamin C. So let's see their sources and the function. So first is vitamin B. This vitamin B is necessary for the proper functioning of the heart, nerves and the, for the healthy blood cells. It is found in sprouts, soya bean, milk, green leafy vegetables, cereals, eggs. Now next is vitamin C. It helps in healing the wounds and also help in the proper functioning of the blood vessel. And the various sources of vitamin C are oranges, lemon, amla, tomato, sweet lime, fresh green vegetables. All these citrus foods are the good source of the vitamin C. But among them, amla is the richest source of vitamin C. And if you have all these vitamins, whether it is water soluble or the fat soluble in your diet, you will be free from the diseases like fats vitamins are required in very little quantities but it is very necessary for the proper functioning of the human body beside the vitamins our body also need many different minerals for staying healthy and active minerals are the substances found in the food that are essential for growth and the development of the body. Various minerals that our body needs are iron, phosphorus, calcium, sodium, potassium, magnesium and iodine. Now let's study the sources and the role of these minerals in our body. All these Minerals like calcium, phosphorus, iron, potassium are found in the milk and the milk products. Green leafy vegetables, meat and various cereals and pulses. Only the common salt is the good source of sodium. So now let's study the roles of the minerals in our body. Calcium is required for the strong bones, teeth and muscles. Phosphorus is required for the development of bones and teeth. Iron forms the hemoglobin which carries oxygen to the, all the cells of the body. And sodium and potassium is essential to maintain the water balance in the body, proper functioning of muscles and the nerves. Though the mineral is also required in very less quantity, but it is uh, very important for the proper growth and the development of the body. 
so as i told you ki vitamins and minerals are needed in the small quantities why they are required to remain fit and healthy yes because these help us to fight and protect ourselves from the various diseases it keep us strong bones teeth strong and also keep our eyes healthy because of these the vitamins and minerals are called the protective food now children i hope you understood all types of food that means energy giving food body building food protective food all these five nutrients are categorized under these types of food that means carbohydrates and fats provide us energy so they are called the energy we giving food proteins help in building the body so it is called the body building food and these vitamins and minerals protect us from the various diseases that's why it is called the protective food apart from this the nutrients a body also need a proper amount of the water and roughage so now let's see why water and roughage are important water water is one of the most vital need of our body it constitute about the 60% of our body weight that means two third of a body weight is water along with the nutrients water is also essential for our life why because the water present in the blood carries and distribute essential nutrients such as minerals vitamins and glucose to all the cells of the body not only this it helps in the digestion of the food it also helps to flush out the waste from the body through sweat or urine that's why we should drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water daily so as to enable the body to carry out all the functions properly water is very essential now the roughage roughage is a fiber present in the food what is fiber children yes fiber is the indigestible portion of the food eaten and we found mostly the roughage in the fruits and the vegetables not only the this atta oats dalia corn cabbage are some good sources of roughage it allows the food to move along in the digestive tract this roughage also help in the excretion now one question children arises why is roughage important does it provide any nutrient no roughage does not provide any nutrient however it helps the food move through the digestive system it also helps in the bowel movement and prevent constipation here children what do you understand by the bowel movement yes it means the discharge of the waste matter from the body now children different nutrients perform different functions in the body and help us to stay healthy as all the nutrients are not available in one food item for example sugar contain carbohydrates but no proteins similarly fruit and vegetables contain vitamins and minerals but lack proteins and fat so whatever we are eating whole day it should be balanced that means it should contain all type of the nutrients roughage water in a proper amount so whatever we eat daily should contain the right amount of all the nutrients along with water and roughage and the diet which contain all these things in the proper amount 
is called the balanced diet. So children, what is balanced diet? A diet with all the nutrients in the right amount as one's body needed for proper growth and the functioning is called the balanced diet. That means daily whatever diet we are taking, it should include all the types of nutrients with the proper amount of water and the roughage. Now, is a balanced diet same for everyone? No. Balanced diet differ from person to person. A balanced diet depends on the factor like age, gender, health conditions and level of the activity of a person. For example, a person who has fallen sick and recovering from the illness needs more protein, vitamins and minerals and less fat than the healthy person. Similarly, a laborer needs more carbohydrates and the fat in comparison to the person who is doing a sitting job in the office. For growing children, it is important to have a diet that contain more proteins, carbohydrates and fat. Old people who are not so active need less energy. This way, balanced diet differ from person to person. Now children, with a balanced diet, exercise is also important to maintain a good health. Why children it is important? Because it controls a body weight, make our muscles strong, maintain a good blood circulation and gives our skin graceful appearance. So now children you understood why the exercise is important for maintaining a good health? Yes, because it makes feel energetic and active, tone our muscles and make our bones strong, stay lean and give our body a graceful appearance, maintain a good blood circulation. So this exercise gives you healthy and happier life. So children do some exercise daily because it gives you healthy and happier life. Now with a balanced diet exercise, rest and sleep is also necessary for a healthy body. After a day's hard work, a body needs rest. This can be done by a number of ways. You can relax by listening a music, reading a book or watching a television. Now, sleep is also needed as it gives you much needed rest. And not only this rest, it improves the learning power, repair the bone out tissues and cells. We should take at least 7 to 8 hours of undisturbed sleep. So children, take the balanced diet, do the exercise and take necessary rest and sleep for maintaining a good health or to remain fit and healthy free of diseases. Now children, see this image. If I ask you, what you can see in this image, you will say, Ki butterfly, flowers, leaves, grass, clouds, etc. After coloring with one crayon, how this image looks? Yes, it looks very dull and unattractive, isn't it? But if I ask you to color with the different colors like flowers with red, yellow, butterfly with any another different color, clouds with the blue color. So this image will look like this, very beautiful and pretty. So same with your body children. A body also requires the different types of food. If we will take only one type of food, a body will become unhealthy and unfit. As this image needs different colors to look beautiful and pretty, 
same our body also need different kinds of food to remain fit and healthy and with apart from this nutrients a body need proper amount of water roughage exercise rest and sleep then only a body will become fit and healthy so a body needs all these component in adequate amount to remain healthy because healthy mind lives in the healthy body and when this healthy body mind lives in the healthy body our life become happy so with this i am concluding my session by giving you some homework you have to define some terms what are that terms that terms are roughage balance time glucose and nutrients not only this there are some blanks which you have to fill what are they they are first dash a carbohydrate give instant energy dash are required for growth and the repair of the body fats contain dash the amount of energy as carbohydrate dash a water soluble vitamins do this homework in rough copy read the chapter and learn all the difficult terms so children eat healthy live happy thank you